I was just listening to this clip and he was on, it was his show, the Norm Macdonald show. Uh, and like Jim Carrey was a guest and uh, it was this great moment where Jim was like, and, and he was, Jim was like insufferable on this appearance. Like I, it made me like Jim Carrey so much less. And he was just, Oh, he's the worst guy goofy. alive. Goofy. And I was like, can't you just be yourself? Like you're a, this brilliant comic and he's you know he's on there he's acting smarter than he is and 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 like he's going into his physical comedy i guess maybe as a i don't know defense mechanism or whatever and he's like you know he swatted a mug off the desk and it broke and then he he said to norm like oh yeah i remember when you stopped by the set of man on the moon i saw you there and norm was like yeah because i was on the movie <laughs> like i was in the movie also <laughs> and it was like I was like, yes, I just, it's so refreshing anytime you see somebody not kissing a, a big celebrity's ass. Jim Carrey is the biggest fucking douche. I worked with this kid who was in a, in a movie with him, Lemony Snicket. Oh, yeah. And he oh, would that's do- a newer one. Yeah, yeah. He would do 80 takes with a little kid. So it would be 13 hours. And the poor kid was just being tortured, having to say the same thing again and again and again. He would take the lines from the kids. If they had a good line, he would use it in his dialogue and they'd just be stuck there as a sounding board. At one point, the little kid, the, the, that was one of the most overpriced movies of all time. I think it cost, I don't know, $500 million back when they weren't spending that kind of money. They built a cement lake. They had a, a whole staff of these technicians who were making weird shit all day. Half of it wasn't even used in the movie. So... During the downtime, they made him an off, awesome the little kid in the movie. They made him an awesome Pee Wee Herman bike that was had rockets on the side and stuff and lights and streamers and choo, pow. And so he sees Jim Carrey and, he, and Jim pulls up in his custom BMW and he goes, Jim, check this out. I got a bicycle. And he goes, oh, yeah? You think that's cool? He goes, yeah, because it is. And he goes, check this out. And he put, pulls the kid into his car and shows him how the console says Jim Carrey and the console works with his fingerprints and basically shows the kid that his custom BMW that was probably 200 grand is way better than his bicycle. Oh my God. What the fuck? You know that blonde chick who was in um, White Lotus, the new show on Netflix about the hotel? No. Uh, she's, uh, I'll pick her up. White Lotus. She's a really good comedic actor. She was in um, she was in a lot of movies with those improv guys, you know the the uh, waiting for Guffman guys. Hmm. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge. Okay. Oh yeah, <coughs> was that Stifler's mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she she said working with Jim Jim Carrey is like getting raped all day and having <laughs> to say thank you. <laughs> Oof. He wow. gave that chick herpes. She <laughs> killed herself after he dumped her. He fucking dated what's her name with the autistic son, where he was screaming. Jane McCarthy. Yeah, how dumb do they think we are? As he went on to say that autism is caused by God knows what fucking electricity. He's a fucking loser. One of the shittiest people in America, and he's from my hometown of Ottawa. Oh no, how devastating! Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Tom Green, uh, what's her name? Uh, Alyssa Alanis Morissette. Jim Carrey, Ren Krafalski, and me.